Hi, I'm Karen Carbone, and welcome to Check It Out, where we'll explore the variety of programs and services available at your Fairfax County Public Library. Today, we're at the beautifully renovated John Marshall Library in Alexandria. In this edition, we're focusing on how the library can help you stay strong and healthy as you age. We'll learn about the five pillars of brain health, how to relax and stay strong with adult exercise classes, and check out the fun ways you can connect and discover with our variety of adult programs. We have an interesting show lined up for you today. So sit back and relax while we introduce you to your Fairfax County Public Library on Check It Out. Fairfax County is a great place to live, work, play, raise a family, and grow older in place. Through our variety of programs and services, the Fairfax County Public Library is committed to helping older adults age well and stay healthy right here in our community. Research shows that there are five key behaviors that will keep your mind sharp and strong for many years to come, and we're here to help you along the way. Let's learn more about the five pillars of brain health from our friends at AARP. Well, with libraries, we have a partnership with them going back really even before I volunteered with AARP in trying to promote as many different topics as we can, one of them being brain health. Brain health has come around in the presentation has come around in the last two years. So we try to partner with uh, the Fairfax County Libraries and other libraries in trying to get the word out about brain health. And it's not just for seniors, brain health is for everybody. Well, brain health in one concept is a total well-being. It's a concept of saying, hey, these are the different things we need to do with our brain because the brain does everything for us. So if we don't keep the brain active, the rest of our bodies sort of also slow down. So we want to make sure that older Americans know that just because they've retired or not doing as much as they used to in their lifestyle, they still need to keep busy, need to, need to keep, keep their brain stimulated because it's very important for their health as they age. There's probably quite a lot of different things that go into brain health, but the five pillars that ARP concentrates on is move, discover, relax, connect, and nourish. A move simply is just getting up and moving in any way you want to. People, when they go dancing, it's moving. Uh, when they take a walk, it's moving. Tai Chi, moving. There's so many different classes that are offered all over the place. And the library is a great resource place to have all those different things at the uh, tip of your fingers because they offer a lot of different resources and again, they're free. Discovering is learning new things, the old concept of curiosity killed the cat. We're here sitting at a library. What a great way to go into any Fairfax County library and discover new things. They have so many different things going on at the library. And take one or two of those concept, concepts and put it in your own life. And uh, that's a great way to learn new things. Learning is always fun. It doesn't stop because you've stopped going to school, but you can keep on learning even uh, as you age. Well, relaxation is simply trying to decompress. Uh, people think just because they're retired, they have no stress. No, you have to have a little bit of stress in your life. It's good if they say, I have no stress, I'm just sitting in a re recliner and watching TV all day, or that's not good. Uh, so re really relaxing is just taking some time off. Having a good night's sleep is very important. Or uh, just taking a quick nap, meditating, uh, things that are away from the electronic stimulation. That's relaxation. As we age, we want to stress to older people not to be isolated. And so connecting is trying to be connecting with your family. Even if it's Facebook, connecting with your family. Even if it's just talking to somebody over the phone or coming to the library, interacting with the librarians, asking them what's new at the library. 
or joining uh, a, a club that you're interested in joining or volunteering. So Nourish is trying to be a little bit conscious of what you're eating and so things like leafy vegetables, spinach, kale, those kind of things. Uh, some people go, oh my God, vegetables. But if you can cook them in different ways, it's very good to eat them. And there's all kinds of books here at the library, including recipes. Well, one of the great websites we have is uh, arp.org forward slash brain health. Uh, that will give you a lot of information. Also, there's great resources here at the library as well on, on nourishment. All the different things we talked about today are, are available at the library. From gentle yoga to qigong, the Fairfax County Public Library's variety of adult exercise classes are an easy way to not only stay active as you age, but also to learn relaxation techniques for a healthy mind and body. Let's check it out. So sitting tall and comfortable, eyes closed, yeah, and settle into the breath, into the rhythm of your breath. Fairfax County Public Library offers a variety of exercise and relaxation programs. Relaxation and exercise are important for brain health and aging because they help reduce stress and anxiety. Most health issues, both physical and emotional, can be traced back to the effects of stress. We all have a certain amount of stress in our lives and uh, it's important to take time to nurture our bodies with physical activity as well as relaxation so that the stress doesn't build up over time and our bodies have a chance to recharge and revitalize. So a typical uh, exercise or relaxation class at Fairfax County Public Library will have a set number of people. We'll try to keep the size of the class to uh, that's manageable so everyone gets some individual attention. So there are lots of choices and there the classes take place in a variety of the branches. We have chair yoga, gentle yoga. I used to do yoga when I was younger and I really missed it. And so one of the things that um, I um, was happy to find out is that um, now they have gentle yoga, chair yoga, so that we don't do the work in the floor, but I can still do the movement and the breathing, which is like really a gift. We have meditation for relaxation. Qigong combines both exercise and relaxation. Relaxation can vary from one person to another, but uh, mainly it's a chance to slow down, uh, do something that's enjoyable and uh, gives your mind a break. Well, the classes are very relaxing and I feel they're very beneficial to me. Every time I take the class, I'm, I'm able to sleep very well at night and um, I do do a lot of the exercises at home. It's a great incentive to be a part of the programs here at the library because it brings you together with other people with similar interests. It's a great way of socializing and meeting new people and sharing those positive experiences with them. All Fairfax County Public Library programs are free of charge, so there's never a fee. Uh, and registration can vary from branch to branch. It's best to check the library's web calendar or the print calendar or call the branch that you're interested in attending a class at. The Fairfax County Public Library has thousands of books that can teach you just about anything, but sometimes it's more fun to learn with friends. Let's explore our variety of adult programs where you can discover something new and connect with a few new friends, too. It's more than somewhere to borrow books. Your Fairfax County Public Library is a place to imagine, discover, and connect. We are committed to fostering lifelong learning and a feeling of community for all our residents. Each week, we offer dozens of free adult programs on a wide range of topics where you can pick up a new hobby, learn something new, and even make a few new friends. Whether it's crafting, exercise, book clubs, current events discussions, or informative presentations on a variety of topics like retirement, health, or financial planning, 
you're sure to find something you'll enjoy. Got a new gadget? Our technology help programs can help you set up a new device, learn how to check out and use ebooks and audiobooks, or keep up with your family on social media. If you have time to spare, consider sharing your time and talents by volunteering to start a new program or host an existing one. Discover what's new at your Fairfax County Public Library. Stop by your local branch today to pick up an events calendar or search for programs online at fairfaxcounty.gov library. Now that we've been able to move, relax, discover, and connect, we can't forget Nourish. In addition to the many culinary and health programs held at our library branches, you can check out popular healthy cookbooks from our shelves at any time. Let's take a look. Oprah will be the first to tell you she has had a complicated relationship with food. It's been both a source of delight and comfort for her, but also the cause of an ongoing struggle with her weight. In Food, Health, and Happiness, Oprah shares the recipes that have allowed eating to finally be joyful for her. Delicious, healthy, and easy to prepare, these are the recipes Oprah most loves to make at home and share with friends and family. Veganism is going mainstream. Whether exploring a vegan diet for health, environmental, or political reasons, more and more people are looking to put hearty, plant-based meals on their table. In Vegan for Everybody, America's Test Kitchen addresses head-on what intimidates people. Finding great tasting and filling vegan protein options, cooking without dairy, preparing different whole grains and vegetables, and even baking. To help his patients improve their health, Dr. Angelo Acquista began prescribing them recipes for nutritious and flavorful home-cooked meals prepared with ingredients key to the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean Family Table combines his medical experience and Sicilian roots to outline the guiding principles of the Mediterranean diet and takes it one step further with a collection of easy, wholesome, and delicious recipes the entire family will love. Eating healthy when you have diabetes can be a challenge. Cooking Light magazine teamed up with the American Diabetes Association to offer a solution. Power Foods for Diabetes, a cookbook filled with delicious recipes for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Home cooks will discover more than 150 great tasting dishes featuring heart healthy, high fiber, disease fighting ingredients such as leafy greens, whole grains, beans, and omega-3 fish. Well, that's it for this edition of Check It Out. If you're interested in learning more about our variety of resources, programs, and books for everyone, make sure to visit your nearest Fairfax County Public Library. See you next time.